ladder. Go on. I hope my training's almost finished. I still gotta get to the fireboat. Then, once Vinny's got the boat, I can follow him to Rex. It's almost time for Admiral Pom Pom's nap! Is this why there was a stinky fish in the pocket of my uniform? Yes! Also, in case you get hungry. Yuck. Pompom took over from our previous mascot, Commander Claus. And believe me, Commander Claus earned his name. He was quite the contract negotiator.
game! Okay, well, we're all done here. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food! Wow! They've done this place up really nice. Huh. Maybe if we did the same for Dunby's birthday, he wouldn't be such a grumpy pants. Hey, JC, how you settling into your new job? Good, but I'm gonna have to get the fire chief out of his office so I can open the door to the boathouse. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, kid. The last person who disappointed me bought the farm, you know? You mean? Yeah, even after I told him it was a terrible investment. Anyway, don't sweat the fire chief thing. You'll figure it out, kid. Everybody has a weakness. <sighs> it's no good. I can't beat it. The heads keep spinning and I can't aim my extinguisher straight. I had the exact same problem, which is kind of worrying, seeing as we're meant to be firefighters. You know, Chief Burns is such a party pooper. Yeah, just because we got him the wrong kind of cake. And blew out the candle before him. And opened some of his presents. And congratulated him on his 50th birthday, when he's only 40. And got him a Mother's Day card instead of a birthday one. And got his name wrong on it. I mean, what's wrong with that? He is so touchy. You gotta aim for their mouths, but only when they're facing you. Done, man. That is outstanding. What's going on out there? You people better not be enjoying yourself on my birthday. I better not see anyone smiling down there. Who would have thought being a firefighter would involve so much paperwork? Not me. There are like a hundred different forms just for rescuing cats. I know. Speaking of which, do you have a 37B? It's the one for short-haired tabby cats up an oak tree. Sorry, we're all out. I've got one for a long-haired green-eyed Persian with a foul temper on top of a traffic signal if you like. Nah. You ever snuck into Burns' office? Almost. I got up on top of the light fitting outside it, but I couldn't make the jump to his office. Huh. What if we brought in a hang glider? I'd so be up for that.
Right. I guess I'm done with work for today. I should have brought a book with me. Time to find this boat and sail it away. 